Hello everybody, once again my name is Matt and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX. It's been a while since I've had to say that, now hasn't it? Anyways, remember a while back I said I was going to do the extras for both this game and Adventure 2 Battle after I finished Adventure 2 Battle? Well, the time has come, so let's uh, let's quickly just jump into things, alright? We're actually going to go back into Adventure Mode really quickly just to show off one thing. We'll hop into Sonic real quickly. And uh, we'll get this bad boy started. That way we can we can end it and then do the next one. <laughs> and then we can just get straight into Wind Waker, and that's just gonna be a blast. We're gonna have to wait for Wind Waker. It's gonna be so much fun. Anyways, we're just gonna run in here into the hotel, and get stuck on the door. <laughs> Anyways, where there we go. Elevator. Open the elevator, and we're going to stand in the elevator. Elevator. And we're going to go in to to come on and there we go the Chow Garden hooray and if you saw my um, Sonic Adventure 2 battle explanation of the Chow Garden it's pretty much the same thing not much is different you get two eggs to start off there's another two different gardens and but I probably shouldn't put them that close to the door because I probably won't be able to get them but oh well not my problem. Oh, the black market's over here. I didn't really want to go in that right now. But apparently, see, it, it, it's pretty much the same thing. It even looks the same. <laughs> exactly. So we're just going to leave. Um, I'll probably add an annotation to my child video for Sonic Adventure 2 Battle in here. Just in case, because it covers a few more things that I'm probably not going to cover in here. But this is the first child garden. You get two eggs. Blah, blah, blah. You hatch the eggs. You take care of the chows. You can bring them to the chow race. Do some mini games. And then there's a total of five emblems. You can get in the chow races, and that's pretty much it. Over here, Game Boy Connectivity, you can get it to, I think, either Sonic Advance on the Game Boy or Sonic Advance 2, or both of them. I don't remember if it's only one or two. And over here, teleporters to the other two chow gardens. So let's quickly show off the other two chow gardens. We'll go to the Mystic Ruins really quickly. That was a lot of talking in a little, in a short amount of time. I just compressed that. It's like information overload. Anyways, welcome to the Mystic Ruins Shadow Garden. Again, you get two eggs in here. This is what it looks like. It's a little nice little place here. You got a nice little waterfall over here. And to get here from the Mystic Ruins, if you go behind Tails' workshop and into that little cave over there, there is a minecart. And if you hop in that minecart, it brings you somewhere around. It brings you over to this area over here. And that's how you get it. There should be a minecart here. Do they really expect me to walk? Maybe it didn't load properly or something. Huh. That's interesting. <laughs> Anyways, you're supposed to hop in that and it'll bring you back and forth. So, let's quickly another Game Boy connectivity thing. And there's no black market. The only black market in the uh, Station Square one. Let's go to the egg carrier. Hurry up, teleporter. You're so slow. And... Welcome to the egg carrier uh, chow garden. Again, you get two eggs in here. And there's more eggs that you can find out in the adventure field. I've made note of at least two eggs. I think in my entire uh, playthrough, I know there's more. I've had, I've gotten like a lot of eggs. Uh, obviously not on this file. And you can actually run up this missile, which was awesome. And you could stand on it and be like, "Yay, I'm on a missile!" Anyways, that's enough of that. <laughs> no missiles. And to get into the egg carrier chow garden, um, if you go into the hull of the egg carrier, where the that thing where it's spell Eggman and open a door, uh, that door leads to the chow garden. So I'll, I'll just quickly um, show it real quick because I'm going back in here. Anyways, so you come into this room and if you leave this room, it's the one over here and you have to spell Eggman. So it's E, J, J, M, get in the M, A, N. Hooray! And then opens the door and then you go in the Chow Garden. But we've already been there, so quit. We're done with this for now. <laughs> Like I said, I'm going I'm going through this quick, man. I don't want this to take too much time. And back to the main menu. Hooray! Press star. We pressed it. Alright, trial. We're not even going to go over. It's, it's completely pointless. That you don't even get emblems in this mode. It's just, like, I think it's just a time trial mode. Completely pointless. Mission mode! Here we go. Let's do Sonic. Game. Alrighty. Here we go. We'll show off some mission mode stuff real quickly. It's pretty easy. Pretty easy stuff. Not anything too complicated. Uh, search square. Come on. Come on, Luke. Come on. Come on now. Come on. There we go. All right. 
Um, there we go. There's. Sh oh, I have a mission activated right now. Um, I'm gonna deactivate it and then reactivate it just so I can show it off because this is probably one of the easiest missions to do. It is mission one, so I have to get. In order to deactivate a mission, I think you have to actually get another mission. So I apparently you can't get another mission. All right, apparently you can have multiple missions activated at once. Something I forgot. <laughs> So crap. All right. Um, mission one. I'll just explain it. There is these. Actually, oh, I can show it off over here. See that floating card right there? That is a mission card. Um, the first one is right here, and the description of the first mission, if you go into your missions tab, is mission one right here. Is bring the man who is standing in front of the hamburger shop. So what you have to do is go all the way over to the other portion of the Station Square Adventure Field over here. Go to the hamburger shop, obviously. Oh, get run over by a taxi. Um, that's optional. That's optional. You don't have to. Where is the hamburger shop? I'm getting all sorts of... It's right here. Alright, so you get this dude in front of the hamburger shop. You know, this brown dude in a suit with his arms out. You just pick him up. You know, you just pick him up. He, he doesn't even care. You just pick him up and you bring him over to the train station. Maybe he was in, like, shock or something and he couldn't move. Or maybe he had, like, something. I don't even know. Maybe he, like, passed out standing up. And then you just put him in the middle of the thing, and ta-da, mission one, clear, hooray. So that was it for mission one. Now we can, and of course, if you stand exactly right where the thing is, you have to do the mission again. Well, you don't have to, consider you only get, you already get the, uh, the emblem, but that's mission mode. There's about 60 missing, there's 60 missions that you get to do, and that's that. So let's see what else we have to show off. Um... Actually, I do want to go to trial mode to show off one thing, I think. There is some sub-game things that you can do. Uh, let's see if I can show them off. Obviously, you can play as Metal Sonic in one of them. And I think... I think, if I remember correctly, you can, um... Choose the level that you want to do, right? Okay, yeah. There's these level things, and you have to do, like, um... Like, certain things, like, beat certain times, beat certain scores to get emblems. We're not actually going to go into that, though. Can I... Alright, I can't go back. I would show off Metal Sonic, but it's pretty much exactly like Sonic. There's no real point in me going on it, into it. Um, so we're just going to go to the next thing, which is the minigame collection. Which is kind of what you get when you get a certain amount of emblems in the game. You'll unlock one minigame. Uh, in the LP, I think we got Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic Drift. And I think these are all Game Gear games. Um, I think Sonic Drift might not be a Game Gear game, but I think it is at the same time. Which is actually really kind of disappointing because of the fact that the Game Gear was Sega's attempt at a portable system, and it wasn't too great. So I kind of wouldn't, I kind of wish that they would have given us Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 from the original Genesis, and not the cruddy Game Gear versions. That's kind of disappointing. Um, I'm not going to go in and play all of these because they're kind of boring and stupid. But you know, you get the point. There's some mini games that you can come in here and waste about five minutes until you get bored of it. Out of how annoyingly dumb they are. <laughs> that's just my opinion on them. Obviously, some people might think they're a little bit better. And that's pretty much it for most of the the post game stuff that I uh, wanted to just quickly go over that we didn't really look at in the LP. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm not gonna see you guys later. I, I can't say I'll see you guys later because this is technically the end of this let's play. Um, <laughs> Cause I'm not gonna go in and show every single mission again. I'm not gonna go in and show every single, uh, you know, sub game thing and trial thing that you gotta do. That just takes way too much time, and it would extend the LP longer than it already has been. So for the final time on this let's play, uh, my name is Matt, and I will catch you guys later. <laughs>